I wasn't the guest the magistrate was waiting for. Follow me. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone, but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. 
But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Yes, it's the gourd on your waist, the device every resonator carries. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinzhou? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the City Hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Stopping through. Rover! It took you so long! What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Hmm. The wind is rising. In it, I sense disturbance and unrest. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover! I'm afraid. Well, we've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long, and we're talking about Jinjo of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan 
Madam Magistrate and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Jizya. Do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? Hmm, it seems like a miniature sundial. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the teal long represents the east. The white tiger stands for the west. The vermilion bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the black tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how could it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls. But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But... what does it mean as a token? The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think... I can feel something from it. Hmm... Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. This is... a mangosteen fruit. The mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. So Chizia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. I don't have candy like that. But I've got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. N no need to thank me. Please have fun in Chinjo.
there's still some distance to the Hua Xiu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. See? Just open the utility. See? See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry, it's all right, I'll be right there. Duty calls, oops, almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yang Yang. I've gotta head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name, and I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Well, you only need to send me a terminal message as you shout, then I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Sure, go do your thing. Don't worry, I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? I refuse to tolerate the foolish striving of those insatiable slugs. Since it's difficult for our research to deal with a man like him, I'd rather handle it personally and swiftly. And you are? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baisha should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys, and he's always open to their requests. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall?
What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Well, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the sugar pearl might be unique to Huang Long? I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals, perhaps? The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huanglong local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with reliable data. Seconded. Let's find out through actual testing, then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. When a resonator's mental capacity is overwhelmed, they may lose control of their forte, causing an overflow of resonance energy. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. That means simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would.
detected, your bodily functions are in good condition, and you seem entirely unaffected by the crown uses energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. Moment of resonance. the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? the same spot again and this moon what is happening are those tacit discords Still remember what you saw? Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place, 
I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime.